are you? Do you know who you are? Hey, Fawn Fam, it's your Fawn founder, Elena. My name is Elena. I founded Fawn Sound as a social media influencer ministry committed to empowering missionary disciples. I put out new videos every Tuesday, and today we're looking into the font at the readings for the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Who are you? Do you know who you are? Describe yourself. Who are you? Human society, a lot of the times we define our identity by our relationships, what our bodies can do, as far as our work, as far as sports, as far as school and achievements. These are all things that we can do. Relationships as far as parenting, children, family. But there's more to who you am than just your relationships, than just with your body. There's more to you than that. And that is what Jesus is telling us in the gospel for this week. Jesus is saying the spirit brings light, but the flesh is to no avail. That part of the reason why we hear about these horrific sex scandals, not just in the church, but also in politics, in government, in the military, in law enforcement, in schools, in sports, in entertainment, in advertising, in the adult entertainment, and fewer people. The reason why we're seeing all of this because we don't know who we am. We don't know who we are. And why do I keep using that word am instead of are? Because it starts with the spirit of the I am, the great I am, the I am that is bigger and more powerful than any of our ams. You see, when we forge our identity on the flesh, on the things that our bodies can do, on the things that we think we can do, that we're entrusted to solve or fix or make or whatever the case may be. We get stuck because when we don't live up to the expectations of those roles, of those relationships, we develop a sense of inadequacy, a lack of empowerment. And so perhaps we may act or force that power, the only way we can escape this hamster wheel, this runaround, is by looking to the power beyond the individual, that greater life force, that spirit, that spirit who is God, a power greater than ourselves. And when we form our identity of who we am, as child of the great I am, we come to discover that there's no need to dominate one another, that each of us was created with unique gifts and talents, each one of us is special, and that we're all equals. Each one of us has a place at the table. Each one of us is a distinct and unique child of God.